Well, thank you. I think this um, problem of evangelicals drifting from the gospel is a very real problem and a very important problem. Generally speaking, liberalism doesn't renew itself. Uh, liberalism generally is fueled by evangelicals who abandon evangelical convictions and uh, change their theological position. And I think tragically there are um, uh, well-known cases of evangelicals who've fallen into sexual sin, but there are also well-known cases of evangelicals who've abandoned um, uh, biblical convictions that they might have held uh, in the past. So a number of examples would come to mind of that. So for example, uh, in my country, a, a man called Steve Chalk, who's a Baptist minister, uh, was a well-known evangelical uh, leader, but over the past few years, he's abandoned belief in the atonement of Christ on the cross and Jesus bearing the wrath of God for sin. And more recently, he's abandoned the biblical conviction that sex is only for heterosexual marriage and has recently said that he wishes to uh, be able to perform same-sex marriages in his church. So two very important biblical convictions of evangelicals that have been um, abandoned. In the United States, for example, uh, a very well-known kind of theologian called Bart Ehrman, who uh, started out life as being a, a convinced evangelical Christian, has subsequently changed his position and has uh, taught that the Bible is not the accurate record of the life and ministry of Jesus, that there are other gospels, there are other accounts, and therefore the kind of confidence that we might have in the biblical faith has been um, uh, undermined. So it is a very real problem that well-known leaders have abandoned um, evangelical convictions. Uh, it, it's hard to know exactly what it is that causes them to do that, but somewhere along the line, I guess they've come to the conclusion that the beliefs that they held were not true, that might be a result of um, them perhaps having discovered something new or been influenced by some new teaching, uh, and, and their convictions were never solidly grounded in the first place. So maybe they were brought up with certain Christian traditions and certain expectations that they'd never thought through and properly owned for themselves. But when uh, they investigated them, they, they found that um, they weren't convinced. I think in many cases, though, drift happens slowly and it's often to do with the public acceptability of their beliefs. So they begin to discover that uh, people don't like what they believe, they don't like historic evangelical beliefs, they're seen as being intolerant or unacceptable. A and in order to continue to have a public ministry that lots of people like and are attracted to, they just subtly change the message to be able to fit with um, uh, what is popular and acceptable. And it's sometimes hard to know whether they change their theology, um, first of all, because they lose those convictions or because they have to change their uh, sort of theology to justify the way that they're continuing to be acceptable and accepted by people who would have a very different view.